On August 1st, this past Tuesday, Alex and I celebrated 12 years since the day we first turned on the lights at our old office and opened Family Financial Partners. It's funny how as we age, we tend to forget certain things. But one thing I'll never forget is the couple weeks after tendering our resignations at the old firm and the numerous hats that we weren't so much as wearing as tossing on and off each other's heads every 30 seconds. We spent that time working on everything from obtaining licenses and registrations to shopping for conference room tables, chairs, desks, and other furniture. A big thank you to Carolyn Ridley for helping us out with that. And ordering business cards, setting up a website, securing phone and fax numbers, all while playing interior decorator as we picked out lamps, blinds, appliances, and color schemes. Whew. Alex remembers staying up for days at a time, working furiously, and I quote, at his kitchen table in his PJs, filling out reams and reams of forms to begin moving clients to our fledgling firm, only to realize that, oh, we hadn't bought a printer yet. And so a cheap laser printer became our first company asset. Within a month, we had our first 33 client families and we're officially business owners. And today we're proud to work with 385, 385 client families and we're still growing. This year we're marking another first as we welcome advisor Jeff Garska to our firm. And we are in the process of welcoming all of his client families into the Family Financial Partners fold. If you haven't checked out Jeff's bio, feel free to log on to familyfinancialpartners.com and check him out. He's got a long you know, history in the business and he's a great addition to our team, not only from a standpoint of being a great person, but just from experience as well. And as we continue to grow and bring high quality advisors into our family, we'll also continue to make sure that we add staff appropriately to make sure that all of you, our client family's planning needs are met. One thing I know for sure is that while there have been some economic ups and downs over the last dozen years, mostly driven by the economy or government regulations. All in all, we've continued to strive to get better each and every day at our craft and to recruit and retain the best staff to our team. We view it as just like any professional sports team. We are all highly competitive and have that next man up mentality. At the end of the day, all of this is to benefit you, our valued clients. As you're never just working with one of us, you get the whole team. And now for something funny, on Tuesday afternoon, it hit me that it was our anniversary. We were in the throes of a typically bustling Tuesday around the office, which meant a full steam ahead workday for our crew here. We didn't have the balloon drop or the champagne toast, and we certainly didn't have any cake. There seems to be this new rule with the staff that has Basically, they've enacted it, barring me from eating any cake. And it's like those signs that you see when you go hiking in the national parks that say, don't feed the bear. Well, that said, it is a birthday month and I'll be celebrating mine on August 11th, followed by an even bigger celebration for Alex's birthday on Friday, August 18th. Rumor has it that while I'll be celebrating just another year in my 40s, Alex still apparently doesn't age at all. Hmm, I'm completely jealous of his genes. As for all of you, there's another sign of how much we've grown. There are 41 client birthdays this month and 12 wedding anniversaries. Isn't that cool? On behalf of the whole team, we wish you a wonderful birthday, if you're one of them, and anniversary month, and we hope that you make the most of these last few weeks of the summer. And P.S. Please save a piece of the cake for me.